What up? It's still 116, bro. Oh, law working for the same team. I think I need an ad lib from Diddy. Because I'm going to take that to each and every city. Homie, I'm going to take that, take that. Homie, I'm going to take that, take that. Homie, I'm going to take that, take that. Homie, I'm going to take that. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know that song, um, I completely probably just butchered it right now. But you need to check it out by Swoop. The original version with with Yavis and Tadashi and Dre Murray and uh, can't think of it right now or the remix version. Jay Given. Oh, 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 oh. Um, check it out. Actually, I'll put the links in the description. But the reason why I'm making this video tonight, um, even though it's a little late and the shirt's a little tight on me, I need to lose weight, is because I have to share an answered prayer. I'm not going to exactly say what the prayer was. Um, just because it's it's something very personal and very uh, close to me and, and on my heart. But tonight, and, and the reason why I'm sharing this has nothing to do with me, has nothing to do with my faith, has nothing to do with me trying to sound overly righteous or, you know, God hears me or, you know, but it's it's to rejoice in Him and, and give honor and give glory and give praise uh, to Him. And, and I think often we don't do that. So it's very easy to like pray for safe travels for someone and then they arrive safely and we don't say like, thank you Lord or thank you Jesus. We just often, we get so accustomed to people driving safely all the time. Um, and so so we, we need to take in consideration guys, a lot of times when we are praying for things like safe travels or if someone gets better from a sickness or whatever and they do get better, not to be like, oh well you know forget about it. they got better yay let's celebrate that's good and I and I like that and people arrive safely and that's a wonderful thing but at the same time you know every breath you have is a gift from God and so when when someone does arrive safely from somewhere with all the automobile accidents nowadays that is something to rejoice in but that wasn't my prayer request actually my prayer request was something very personal to me something that I've been struggling with anxiety and fears and worries and tonight actually so I was praying, and it was kind of one of those points, you know, uh, in prayer where you, you get to the point where, it, it you know, you realize, like, look, I don't just want to be making noise. I just don't want to be saying prayers or whatever and, and just to be saying them or I don't want to sound repetitious. I don't want to sound like a gong. I don't want, you know, I don't want to just, you know, be saying this to God but be living this way and so he, he ain't going to answer my prayers or listen to me even. Why would he want to, right? Why would we want to listen to someone else if they were doing that to us? Um, so tonight, you know, I got to the point where, you know, I was I was actually getting physically sick because of, of this worry or this fear. Um, and so I, you know, got on my knees and, and kind of in that surrendering position because I think that's another important thing to remember is it's very easy to just like lay in bed and pray um, but it's also very easy to fall asleep um, but when when you're on your hands and knees it, it helps at least for me remember the mindset of bowing in front of a, a, of a king that we're not even worthy um, to be in front of in the first place <laughs> right um, now when he sees us he sees Christ but at the same time, when when we when we bow, we are showing our reverence to Him um, in an order of submission. Now, of course, it's not necessary. You don't have to pray like this in order for God to listen to your prayers. But I'm just trying to relate here that that's that's the position I was in tonight. And so, as I'm praying, I'm like, Lord, like, and I'm just praying on this specific request. And I'm just praying for deliverance, like just hardcore, praying for deliverance, praying for deliverance. And I'm saying, you know, what's going on in my life and, you know, kind of where my mind is right now. And literally, literally, I, I said, I heard my phone buzz and I'm, you know, I'm like, you know, I ain't going to check my phone, right? I'm in a prayer and that's another thing. I should have turned it off, but I heard my phone buzz and I was like, you know, whatever. Uh, I'll check it in a second. Well, I, I wrapped, I ended up stopping my prayer after, you know, when I was finished and I checked my phone and my phone, what the message I got was in response was actually the answered prayer request. So someone sent me a message that like I needed to hear like what I was praying for. And I was like, wow, like, holy cow, like, Lord, thank you so much. Like, thank you. That's, that's amazing. And, 
and it just shows how amazing you know God is. And it wasn't even like a godly thing. It was just a encouragement um, type of a message for me. But it was something that you know how sometimes you know Satan tries to get you down or whatever, and you're praying that you get delivered from whatever he's trying to get you down, whether it's lust or temptation or worries or fear or financials or you know there's so many different things and you're praying and you're praying and you're praying and anxiety's eating you up and you know and so i tonight i got to the point of physical sickness and i'm just like lord like help me here please deliver me from this and the encouragement i got via text message was i just it was like god through that person um so um it was it was awesome so i just wanted to um encourage you guys to 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 really believe that God will answer your prayers. Don't just say a prayer in hopes that he will, but you know, it says in, in scripture that, that he knock and the door will be open. You know, he, he will, he will listen to you. He, he delights in that. He wants to answer our prayers. And, um, that's, that's the gospel, right? Um, if, if we just had a, a father that we prayed to and we honestly thought, well, I know I should pray, so I'm going to, I have these requests I doubt he'll answer. There's no faith. There's no faith there. And so, um, and trust me, guys, I struggle with that. Hands up, right? I struggle with that too. So um, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but when this happens, I feel like it should be shared and celebrated and, and rejoiced because even though there's so many answered prayers that, and unanswered prayers and unspoken requests that get answered that I often forget to, to rejoice in, I just wanted to make this video particularly to, to say God is good. And um, just keep me in your prayers, guys, as, as I go through life. Um, and if you guys have any prayer requests, hit me up. I'd love to be praying for you. So love you guys. Thanks for uh, watching the video.